In today's happy Vlogmas day 13, in today's video, we're going to be talking about multiple discussions because there's been a lot of buzz um, in the Aaliyah department and in the Beyonce department. So without further more to say, like, comment, and subscribe, turn on your bell post notifications so that you'll be notified every time I drop a video. Let's get into today's video. So the first thing I'm getting into is Beyonce. And whether or not she's copying Aaliyah again. Uh -oh. And personally, I'm gonna always feel like Beyonce is after Aaliyah, after what she had, what she was capable of getting without trying. Beyonce will always be envious, jealous, hateful. And she just will always be that type of person, especially towards Aaliyah. Even though Aaliyah's not here, Beyonce is just that type of person. She knows where her husband's true feelings are and that he has to live with the, or deal with the fact that he has to settle, he had to settle for Beyonce. Beyonce is just getting on my last nerves and personally, I'm gonna call it right now. Hopefully it's not so, cause I don't wish it on my worst enemy, but at some point, I feel like the Illuminati is gonna get her. If it's not her they're gonna get, it's her daughter, Blue Ivy. They don't care about those people. I don't even think she's a part of the Illuminati anymore. She's not working with them anymore. She's on her own making music. This Renaissance stuff is all Beyonce. It has nothing to do with the Illuminati. And Beyonce didn't beat the Illuminati, unfortunately. And I don't think they're very happy with her. I feel like she's been watching her back. That's why they're very private. Jay-Z has been being there by her side as some of the performances, if not all of them. And it's like he's her handler for what she's got going on now. And he has to keep her on track and in her place or else they won't be speaking. I think that they're, they're over Beyonce. They've had enough of Beyonce and her bull crap. She cannot keep up anymore, so now she's promoting her daughter uh, for this career. Blue Ivy is the next bargain up for Jay-Z and Beyonce. They had to put their daughter up. But anyways, Beyonce, well, I don't know where I've seen these pictures from. It could have been the shade room. I don't even know if I follow Beyonce. I think I do, but there was some pictures that was released of Beyonce again. And I automatically knew when I saw it because, girl, Aaliyah was the only one with those layers. You know what I'm saying? Like, layers on layers. And tell me why Beyonce comes out with the white platinum blonde hair with layers in a middle part. And I'm not saying people can't wear that, but we all know who, you know, branded themselves in that look, basically. And Beyonce has never wore layers like that that resembles Aaliyah. Not only was her hair like Aaliyah, which is really crazy, but her poses reminded me of Aaliyah too. You know, and at the end of the day, they're just hairstyles, they're just poses. Anybody can rock them. Anybody could use them, do them. It, it doesn't just belong to Aaliyah. But what I'm getting at is that it's very rare for Beyonce to be looking like this and posing like this, given the fact that she is who she is. Another thing I noticed in the pictures, I was gonna brush it off and be like, oh, okay, whatever. But I also noticed in these photos that she had on a trench coat, but it was white and furry. And I'm just like, Aaliyah literally rocked one of these and they literally just posted a couple pictures. Well, it wasn't of Aaliyah, but some rare pictures of that event where Aaliyah wore that same jacket. Ain't it weird that she comes out in this big fur white coat, trench coat, and like some weeks ago, they just posted these pictures of Diane at the event Aaliyah wore this outfit to, this jacket. You can't tell me Beyonce isn't throwing shade. I don't know what she's trying to hint at. But I don't know, like, is she trying to warm us up to the Aaliyah style again? 
because they're gonna give it to their daughter. Don't tell me Beyonce is trying to take it for herself because that ain't gonna happen, that ain't gonna work. And we, I, I did a video on, and I did a video on Blue Ivy becoming the next Aaliyah. She had on similar outfits, bandanas. Uh, she was dancing like Aaliyah. It was just so many resemblance between Blue Ivy and Aaliyah. And it's just sad because aren't Beyonce and Jay-Z the ones who eliminated Aaliyah? And now they're trying to bring back her style and give it to their daughter. And, and Beyonce is just mimicking Aaliyah's look too. Is it me? And then Beyonce, she keeps making it a point that she's a She's still here. I'm grateful I'm, I made it to 42. Like, of course you made it. Why, why wouldn't you be here? Oh, because it would have been you or Aaliyah, right? But it ended up being Aaliyah. And then her mother, Tina Knowles, made a post about her daughter or granddaughter when she was dancing with Beyonce. And she was like, I'm so proud of Blue Ivy. She reminds me of Aaliyah, basically, long story short. And I'm just like, for one, Blue Ivy's already dancing like Aaliyah. She's looking like Aaliyah. Not look, but you know what I mean. And she's wearing all these similar looks that Aaliyah did. Especially this look. Right here, this is what I knew. I'm like, don't, don't tell me they're trying to give Aaliyah image away. Did they buy Aaliyah's image? Maybe that's what jay-z did and he did come together with the uncle and he let the uncle walk away with the music or not the music the 90 million and he walked away with Aaliyah's image maybe that's why diane and them can't do too much on Aaliyah's image because it's not in their possession i don't know i don't know how it works but I found it very odd that Tina even mentioned Aaliyah. And it, like I said, it was already going around. Blue Ivy was dancing like Aaliyah. And to make matters worse, her mother says this. She reminds me of the late and great Aaliyah. These people are obsessed with Aaliyah, especially Beyonce. And Beyonce is getting her family into being obsessed. I'm not understanding it. And I feel like they could have been setting Blue Ivy in front of a TV watching Miss Aaliyah. And that's probably why she's dressing like that. She's dancing like that because they groomed her or they they brainwashed her into having this image to portray this image. It's possible. Like I said, Beyonce keeps referencing that she's here. She is grateful for life. And I just feel like Beyonce is still envious. She's still jealous of Aaliyah and it will always be that way. And I think that that's where Jay-Z's true love will always be, Aaliyah. And he has to live with the fact he did her wrong forever. That's what he said in his song. He'll always love Aaliyah and no one will ever have that, that effect on him like Aaliyah did. And Beyonce knows that. It's just T on T when it comes to Beyonce and Aaliyah. I feel like Beyonce is mimicking Aaliyah, mocking Aaliyah, and it's really sad because these are the same people who allegedly did what they did to Aaliyah, and Jaguar Wright believes this too, and I now believe it, and it's very sickening. Like, leave that girl alone, okay? Just leave it alone. But maybe it's just rigged like this. Like I said, maybe they bought Aaliyah's image, and they're gonna give it to Blue Ivy. They're trying to calmly wing us in with that image that they now have and are going to take over from here on out y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation because the hair is just a dead giveaway and the jacket next thing on the list is uh black ground records and well versus a fan huh? so there was this fan who came out, I don't know when, but it was just recently posted that he was talking about an upcoming, an upcoming Pop The Miss album from Aaliyah. That was his content and all that jazz. And he basically came out and said that Black Ground Records told him to take that down, that content. And... He was basically saying how they went back and forth about the situation, his content, and him talking about the Pothamus album. 
for some odd reason. And then he said after they were going back and forth, Black Ground Records eventually blocked him. Blocked him for his content of talking about Aaliyah's Pothamus album, Coming. And then that's when the question started of, are they working on a Pothamus album? What is it? It's just so many unsupported hints going around on the internet. And it, it pretty much sounds like it could be an upcoming Pothamus album coming on Aaliyah if they told him to take his content down and they blocked him. It's just all so messy. Blackground Records is handling everything messy. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. That was topic number two. Now, topic number three is whether or not Aaliyah has a new song coming Ooh. featuring Tank. I don't know. Listen, although I don't support the uncle, I'm gonna always be ready for some Aaliyah music. I just wanna hear her voice, you know, and especially in a new song, in a different way that we haven't heard it. It's being speculated that it's a new song coming out. And there was documents that were released that are surfacing of this proof. I don't know. But clearly, I mean, I feel like something big is coming just by all of this stuff, the fan getting blocked, going back and forth with Blackground Records over his content of an upcoming Pothamus album. Now they're saying that there's a new Aaliyah song coming out featuring Tank and there's documents surfacing saying so. Something's coming with the uncle and whoever he signed to. Is there new Aaliyah music coming? Who knows? Because they're being very secretive and clearly they don't want anybody talking about it. They want to be the one to release it if it is true. But I also get a negative feeling about it. I just, the whole Aaliyah situation just hasn't been rubbing me right. It's been a lot different uh, these last couple months few months uh just what she did or what she went through was horrible what what the people around her allegedly did is horrible and like i just i get a bad feeling like something doesn't feel right and i believe some more stuff is going to be coming out i think eventually the the illuminati is going to get tired of jay-z and they're gonna air all his business out too. And hopefully it comes with what he allegedly did to Aaliyah. I just think some of these artists' careers are coming to an end. And y'all seen that, that video with Jason Lee? He was to tell on Beyonce he got like some serious tea on her. And I wonder if it's that Pimp C tape. Hopefully it's that Aaliyah stuff. I seen a comment where somebody said Beyonce probably has what Jay-Z gave Rihanna and what Rihanna gave Chris Brown allegedly. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe Beyonce just has it. Maybe that's what he was talking about. Who knows though? Maybe that's why she didn't have those kids because she has a disease too and she didn't want to risk her kids coming out catching that. I don't know, it's just a whole lot. And I think Beyonce has a lot tied to her name. She's not perfect at all. And I just think they pay to cover everything up that's damaging to their their lives their career but i'm here for it i want somebody to come out and expose beyonce and jay-z because they're monsters but regardless of my bad feelings i'm always ready to hear new Aliyah music i love her voice her singing tactics i just love her so much but i just have a negative gut feeling that's just me but i'm i'm excited if this is real if there's an album coming but y'all let me know what y'all think about all of this what did y'all think about the beyonce situation what did you think about the fan getting blocked by black ground records for his content over Aaliyah's poppin's album coming and what did you think about this new Aaliyah song coming out featuring tank do you think this stuff is real do you believe it how do you feel about it and do you think beyonce is still mocking Aaliyah, copying definitely let me know down below 
Happy Vlogmas Day 13. We getting through December like it ain't nothing, right? Yeah. Uh, make sure to support my other videos. Like all my videos. Support, especially if you are a subscriber. Definitely support. And yeah, let me know if you guys got any video requests. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay crazy. So, oh, 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 oh